car. What a machine this is. Yeah, I obviously know all that information. Hello and welcome to my bike. This is a Lauf Segler, which I do a bit of gravel on. We did Salisbury Plain last weekend and I commute to work on it as well. Now you might notice that it's got mismatching wheels and this isn't really a deliberate act. It's just that I was quite late for work. I buggered up a disc rotor and had this wheel spare. So I put this one on. This is the wheels that it came with, the E13 XEXR wheels and a set of S-Works Pathfinder tires in 42 mil. They roll really fast. So when I'm late for work, inevitably, they can get me there on time. But on the back, I have this 3T 4045 rear wheel it's got a carbon tie rear hub and it is 40 mil wide which is frankly ridiculous um, on that it's got a schwalbe g1 which is also quite a fast tire but traction <laughs> <laughs> the frame is quite obviously pink and that is apparently inspired by a wild flower that grows in the icelandic highlands which is of course where lauf is from the full group set is a SRAM rival affair, uh, so that's wireless, just the one battery on the rear mech, that works pretty crisply. Um, it's not the lightest, but, oh well, I've just got to pedal a bit harder. Seat post, I've gone for a Thompson Masterpiece, because it's really quite nice and light, and it's got titanium hardware up here. Do you need it? No, absolutely not, but it is pretty bling. Uh, that's a 27.2. Uh, the saddle is one that I had on test. That's a physique, short-nosed Vento Argo, probably, but don't take my word for that. It's got carbon rails, which weirdly are seven by 10. Don't know why physique thought that was a good idea, but anyway, they did. The bars are the Lauf Smoothie. Um, on them, I've got my mount from a Wahoo Roam um, and this Joba Kinesis tape. That's also pretty, pretty plush. So my hands are comfortable. And it's also really grippy in the dry and the wet, so that's good. The bars have the same um, glass fiber material that's used on these springs here, these leaf springs. I actually really rate this for gravel. I used one a few years ago for mountain biking and I didn't find it very good because you can't adjust the rebound. So it's gonna be wrong for some weight of person. However, with this one, just under 30 mil of travel, and that's all you need for, for gravel riding or road riding. And it just takes the buzz and the high frequency vibrations out of your ride. And they're really robust, no maintenance. And I've smacked one with a hammer at the Lauf headquarters and I couldn't break it. So that's quite reassuring. The other thing that's good about the fork is it only adds about 400 grams to your fork weight. Whereas a RockShox Rudy, for example, that would add nearly a kilo. So nice and light. For a good mixture of gearing on the flats and the hills, I've gone for a 42 tooth front chain ring and the rear set, honestly, I don't really know what it is, but it looks like 1044. So that gives you a, a bigger than, a bigger or a less than one to one ratio. I'm not sure which way round it goes. But anyway, it's enough for steep climbs, so that's good. And you don't spin out until you're doing like 45 or 50 kph. You can keep up doing a comfortable cadence. Oh, I did forget, this valve, that's an E13 Fillmore valve. They get really good reviews. It works quite well. <laughs> bottle cage, that's a Lazane team cage. That will hold onto your bottle like, I don't know what. So the SRAM rival, group set that has a power meter built in it's in the spindle down here i think i can pull it out nope i've just pulled the cap off it's on the other end <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so crank arms they're 172.5 mil length i actually use 170 mil on my road bike but i'm not that fussy really um, and shimano xt pedals they're not the lightest but they do the job perfectly well um, 160 mil rotors front and rear. What else? Oh, and it's a size medium. And that is my Lauf Segler. So we've got more videos just like this coming your way. 
I've got an SL7 to show you round. Um, Liam's probably got a whole shed full of bikes. And yeah, the rest of the team are eager to show you theirs as well. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.